Ça va être drôle, on verra. On a envie de coup. <coughs> de la situation actuelle en Ukraine. This is gonna be funny. So, uh, hello everyone. Welcome to the first, first. Welcome to the third episode of uh, this podcast. Pretty solid start. Yeah, very yeah. solid start. Uh, I'm happy to welcome this time my dear friend uh, Yusuf Unish. Uh, we've been friends since high school, and we haven't seen each other for like I don't know three well, since years. High school, actually. Three no, years. not since not since high school because have we seen each other after high school. Like a tricky mark. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've yeah. seen each other in chilies and stuff. But um, it's been like roughly two years, uh, two years and a half. Yeah, have, have, have I seen you in COVID? Probably not. No, no, yeah. I haven't seen you. In so since 2019. Since 2019. So that's three years. Yeah. So basically, wow. um, he studies. Um, he studies. What yeah, he's studying? been studying a lot of subjects, but lately um, he studied the data science in Rochester University. And University of Rochester. Rochester University is another college. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, he got an opportunity to do his semester abroad, so he did it in Barcelona. And basically now he's skipping school <laughs> during a few days uh, so that he could like visit a lot of countries. Yeah, he got his up your visa, you know, so... <laughs> mm. So you've been starting with the uh, south of Europe, so basically you've been in Andorra. And yeah, so basically Andorra is the first country that visited when I... Like, I had a chance mm -hmm. outside of Spain. Uh, of, of course, like, I, I had a chance to visit a few cities in Spain. Yeah. Uh, uh, Spain is beautiful, actually. So, I, I did Andalusia, I did some cities in, in Catalonia as well. I'm um, yet to do Madrid. Okay. But I'm mean, super looking forward to, you know, like visiting other cities in Europe and other countries. You've been around. <laughs> I've been around. You've been around. <laughs> I've, been, I've been around, but, like, yeah. not enough, you know. So, like, France has been kind of, like, on, a, on my bucket list for a while. Just because, yeah. like, number one, I, I wanted to visit France. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, ah, yeah. you, you, you didn't want to visit me. Like, you just wanted to visit France. No, friends. Friends, not France. Oh. Yeah. I, I wanted to visit We're friends. Tired. It's, it's, okay. Just, just for, for the, the record. For just the record. for the context. Yeah, 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 yeah. context. It's, 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 it's currently midnight 30. I have, midnight 31. I have a bus to catch at 6.45 yeah. a.m. He basically has five hours to sleep five hours is is, uh, is very generous actually yeah, yeah, he has like four hours to sleep like four hours it's fine i'm not, I'm not too mad about it just because and, I, i'm gonna sleep on the bus anyway, yeah time. yeah so uh you've been here like for two days and which is cool actually. which is very cool ever, ever since i came to europe i've been kind of like trying to, to you know schedule like the perfect trips so, yeah. yeah i've been wanting to like this so this europe tour and it's like france tour mm -hmm. that i wanted to do like at first it started like this huge idea i was like you know what i'm just gonna go to lyon and then we're gonna do a huge road trip and I'm gonna go to Bordeaux and then drive. Like you didn't like it there. I mean, I, I didn't like Bordeaux too much because yeah. like uh, two things. I I, I I don't want to talk about it right now. Yeah. But like, it's fine. But, like I, I wanted to go to like Lyon and pick up this nice car and just go yeah. and drive to Bordeaux and to Toulouse uh, and then to Marseille and Nice not, and car. Let's not give a fuck about Bordeaux. Uh, let's talk about Toulouse. How did you uh, find Toulouse? Wait, wait, wait. Actually, like. Okay, Toulouse, Toulouse was pretty good. Okay, mm -hmm. we can talk about that. Like, yeah. uh, there, there was more even though, things, even yeah, though I had this yeah. whole list, I had this whole prepared list and uh, these different uh, ideas and these different uh, like coffee shops that I wanted to visit with Yusuf and a lot of parks also, but we didn't, didn't get to to do that because we ran out. Uh, we ran out of time. See, see, that's exactly what I'm. What I wanted to talk about oh. here. So, like, I, I like trips are hard to plan. But you yeah. can't, you, there's so many variables sometimes, like it's it's hard to predict. So like I mean, for this specific trip, you know, like so much has been changing ever since I went to Bordeaux and then came to Toulouse. Like I, was, yeah. I wasn't planning on staying for two days. You were supposed to be here for one day. I was supposed to be here for one day yeah. and then I came here and I was like, you know what? Like I, I should be <laughs> here it. for two days, you know, fuck it. Yeah. And so it changed <laughs> and now I'm, I'm spending like less time in Lyon. Mm -hmm. But then now, like earlier I was like, you know what? I actually like have this opportunity which I didn't see. I was like, I, why, why am I taking seven hour mm. bus to Paris? Like, yeah. I can Take like pay like a, maybe ten euros more and then mm -hmm. get on a get on a train for like mm -hmm. an hour and a half so yeah. I can spend more time in Lyon mm -hmm. and see the person that I was not gonna yeah. see and then spend less time in public transport mm -hmm. which is like I don't know, it's like it's Medi it's yeah. nicer you know it's yes. it's a train mm -hmm. and so it's so cool and then I can like. Absolutely. Like this whole day that you added to your Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, that, that was yeah, so much fun. Yeah, happy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it okay. makes me happy. I get okay. to spend more time yeah. with you. I get yeah. to talk, I get to chat, I get yeah. to connect again. I mean, we, to, we, we kind of did like a whole tour of the city. Did we did a lot. Know? Yeah, we did Honestly, a lot. Yeah. Uh, we didn't like do the touristy stuff, you know. Which is good. Which is... Good, depending on the people you you know, but we I mean, didn't honestly, target. Uh, if you, if you think about it, like 
Like at some point today, we can basically run out of things to see. <laughs> so we're like, okay, what somehow, are we somehow we didn't do anything, any any touristy thing, but we just somehow we didn't, we didn't get the like coffee shops and stuff. Like I, I don't really mm -hmm. mind. But yeah. the the thing is like. You see, like we had a great time. We had, we had a great time with time. with a very very simple plan. With a very simple, like we visited like two or maybe three places tops. Yeah. But it was cool. It was cool. Like the journey was great. No, absolutely. Yeah. 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 I, I, and I, I, I we visited by it. like we we were on foot, and at some point we were on a motorcycle. Yeah. <sighs> Yego, I love Yego. It's the first okay. time. This video I, is not sponsored by Yego. It might be. Uh, um, yeah, in a few months. <laughs> I will. I if need everything goes to play. You know what? I actually might send that email like on the bus like tomorrow morning. Yeah, I've been wanting I've been, to connect with this company for I'm a while mad. just because I love their products. <laughs> you should do it right now. Bro. <laughs> no, but honestly, okay. like trips are, are hard to plan, but like mm. there's also like so many variables that kind of come yeah. into play. So it's it's hard to predict the future, you know. Like mm. I couldn't have predicted that's like I would come to here and then I would like want to spend two days. I couldn't even predict that I would want to spend two days here yeah. until I came here. And then I, mean, I couldn't predict not, that I wanted to like go on a train. Bro, you're not great like, at planning, you know. So there are people. You're not great at planning. You're not organized. I am not very organized. No, you have to, like you talk about these all these factors that you take into account to plan your trip. Yeah. But you make like uh, last minute decisions, and that's not good. No, no, actually, like last minute decisions are actually good. Let me let me actually screw with you <laughs> on that point. You know what? I, because. Yeah, so when I was planning these trips and when I plan my trips mm -hmm. as much as I possibly can and try to predict and look into as many variables as possible. Like yeah. one country example to, to your point right now, like when, when we were discussing with Sarah earlier mm. and she was like trying to plan, she was like, oh, what am I going to do in Paris? I was like, oh, you can take the other little bit. Have I been to Paris before? I, do, I, do I even know the other? N not really, but like I've done my research. Like I, I try to predict as much as possible in terms of the variables, but like sometimes these things just come to your mind when you reach the destination. That's why like, my, one of my favorite trips is the stuff that, that you don't actually plan. You just go and, and you discover stuff on the, on the, on the fly, you know, like this trip that I, do, that I talked to you about, uh, about, about when I was so in San Diego. What, right? what you're saying is like you do your homework, but there are some things that you don't control. Exactly. Uh, it's some things that you don't control yeah. and you need to adapt. So, yeah. so, so Until the question you arrive to your destination. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So, so, so the question is like, is, is it really important to try to plan to the millimetrical detail. Oh, no, I'm not talking about that. No, I'm no, that's the question that I no, want to ask. No, I'm criticizing people, people that do not do shit until... Like, no, 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 you got to do your homework. You, yeah. you got to understand mm. everything. But like, do you need to millimetrically plan of everything? Of course not. It, that's the thing. Of that's something that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kind of like of understand not. right now. Because like, yeah. for me, for everything that I've planned before in terms of like trips that are complicated like this with yeah. multi cities, I, I, I always feel that I need to know exactly what I'm going to be doing at each hour of the day. I mean, you can predict at what time the bus is going uh, to arrive, for example. You, know, you, you can predict there the are flights some and everything, things like, that are out of your control. That's exactly. Normal, you know. yeah. Exactly. But I think I think what's important here, like the point that I'm trying to make is that it's really important to, you know, give yourself some leeway. And so give like yourself? Some, some like margin of error. Okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You can't cool. say, oh, I'm going to do this and that's for sure. Yeah. No, no, yeah. For trips like this. It has yeah. to be a balance of both things yeah 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 so it, mm -hmm. it has to be like you, you gotta know that you're gonna be, be somewhere by some mm -hmm. time yeah but you, you can't say oh i have to be like in x city at x time yeah. that's it's too risky too yeah it, it's it's too <laughs> risky you gotta give yourself a few hours a few days mm -hmm. like and, and that's what i what i like you know like about this trip like when i was trying to plan it it took me like days because like i went through like if you look at my notes i can i can actually I show mean, you like, what, I, what it looked look. like but like i i, I had like Six different drafts of yeah. like different possibilities of which city I was gonna start in. Yeah, what that's the thing. Do. Like you had yeah. multiple cities in your plan. Yeah, you that's the thing. Only, only two that's the thing. It like I, 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 people... tried to, I tried to optimize as much as possible in terms mm. of cost, in terms of where I'm gonna be, who, the people I'm gonna see, how much time I'm gonna spend with the people, depending on the importance that I have, like the types of relationships, yeah. like people that I don't know too much, I spend like maybe a couple of hours with people I know, I mm -hmm. want to spend more time with. So. Like, it, it, it's all these variables and all these cities that you want to hit and all the objectives. But, like, at some point, you got to realize, like, there's a, there's a scarcity of time, you know? It's, and you can't actually, like, millimetrically plan everything mm -hmm. because, like, things go wrong yeah. all the time. Bus yeah. gets delayed, exactly. uh, flights get canceled. Like, you, mean, you get, like, to, to, to see mean, people and, like, you meet people on the spot. And you're like, oh, day, I want to spend more hours. At here. the end of the so, yeah. day, you, you don't care about that stuff as long as the journey was great, you know? Exactly. As but, as like, long you, as the experience, the still, final experience is good. Still, but, like, you kind of, like, Cuffed, you know, like oh, for example, like in, in this specific trip, just like coming mm -hmm. back to this example, just because we're kind of living it right now. Yeah, I have to be. I have <laughs> to be in Paris. We're very, li we're very li limited in time. Now. No, yeah, I have to be. Like I, I know, like I, I, I decided to skip class, right? And I was like, okay, I'm gonna live on Tuesday, and I'm gonna be in the city, right? And I'm gonna start from like this city, and then I need to go and visit these people in these mm -hmm. cities. <laughs> and I know, like, the only thing that's kind of like limiting me here, I need to be in Paris 
on the 17th. On the 17th at 7 a.m., I have to be there, you know? Yeah. So I have to organize myself by that time. And I want to see all these people, and see the, all these cities, right? And so I have to plan myself accordingly. Which city do I start with? Which people do I want to see first? Mm-hmm. Plan with their availability as well, because like people are not available all the time. So I have to plan according to your availability, yeah. to my friend's availability, what I'm going to be, where I'm going to stay, how are people able to host me, all that. My There's so many. Now. So there's so many variables to take into account, but then think, just coming back to, to my main point here, it's really important to do your homework and to understand what your variables are, but also you mm-hmm. cannot, actually, it's not it's not even a good thing to try to plan everything to the millimetrical oh, yeah. ways, like by the hour, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that's something that I wanted to do. That's why the, the, work, the, road, the road trip that I was trying to plan didn't actually end up working out. Mm-hmm. Because I was like, by this time I have to be in this place and check out and then it's like okay I need an hour for lunch in this city so I can take a break but otherwise I'm gonna you know like it's super hard mm. and you're like oh okay, okay let's pause here go there because like I have like a certain number of kilometers I need to respect yeah. and like what about fuel what about toll like there's too many variables to take into account it's good to plan these things mm-hmm. but then over over larger periods of time yeah. example on that is the trip that I went, did on California right when I started in San Diego then all went all the way in C- into Seattle and like stuff in San Francisco and all that mm-hmm. you know it's like a whole huge thing that you work on but the thing is why did that road trip work out because we started we were like okay we're gonna start here uh, and at some point we need to be there <laughs> And then we gotta figure it out. We have yeah. five days, yeah. right? Yeah. That's why it worked out, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. so that's kind of like yeah. something. Mm. It's still something that I'm kind of trying try to better understand because I'm still gonna plan trips and I still want to kind of better understand right. how things work out and how you can do things and how? be less stressed, you know, about it all. Where is this energy coming from? I don't, I'm, I don't know. Man. I'm, I'm <laughs> dead, man. I'm dead. I... You know, I, it's my third day with five hours of sleep. <laughs> and uh, just for some, just for some context, um, we, we wanted to do the, this podcast like in um, in the morning or maybe in the afternoon, but not at midnight. Uh, obviously, I fucked up. That's but, fine. Um, <laughs> we're still doing yeah. it. So it's good. <laughs> we're still Works doing out. it. We're still doing it. But I mean, yeah, I just wanted to like yes. have the experience with a third guest because. It's, it's been it's long, been yeah. it's been years since I've uh, seen you and uh, yeah, it's, it's, honestly it's, honestly it made me very happy. So I thank you for the experience well, and, and I thank you for the experience. Oh, you, my, you pleasure, my, pleasure, pleasure, my pleasure, my pleasure. You planned it all. I'm really grateful. <laughs> uh, like I, th- I think I got to see things that I didn't actually think I was gonna see yeah. in in Toulouse. <laughs> uh, I got to you like said, the city. Yeah, cool. you you said you liked it better than Bordeaux. No, but the thing is like. Okay, I told you. I told you, this, I, I, told, I told you this, but like, let me let me say it uh, on camera right now. Mm-hmm. I I have things when I visit new cities. It's just the first impression. As yeah. soon as you get out of the train station, mm-hmm. the, flight, the, the the airport, uh, the train station, bus station, whatever mm. you're arriving in the city from. And generally you, speaking, you just like look these, around, you know. Yeah, yeah. The, the, these first impressions they don't change over time. Exactly, like, like your first impression is kind of like basis yeah, everything on, so you build up on mm. that impression. Like for example, when I went to Bordeaux, I, I had a really weird first impression, Okay. right? And I was like, okay, the city is not going to be like the right mm. vibes. It, it was a very cute, very pretty city. I, okay. I, I liked like kind of going around and like yeah, seeing but everything. But it didn't like, fit. It, 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 it didn't fit, fit, you know, like it wasn't the best. So it, it didn't give me like the, the like the right vibes. Yeah, okay. So yeah, the okay. right that's, first impression. That's really interesting because... Yeah. Like, uh, when you end up in a city and you don't know if you're gonna, like, spend one year, two years, or three years, it yeah. all depends on that first impression. That no, absolutely. Really and the thing is, like, I, I, I trust my guts, uh, honestly, because, like, I've, I've been to a few cities right now, uh, mm-hmm. uh, and, and, like, every time I kind of, like, confirm that first impression, but I don't know if that first impression is kind of influencing my experience or if it's the, the other way around. I mean, so for you're example, gonna know uh, over yeah. time. You know? let, me, let, me, let me give you an example. Like, Bordeaux, Bordeaux, for example. Mm-hmm. Right? So I was excited about Bordeaux. I was like, oh, it's gonna be, like, it's one of the most beautiful cities in, in France, right? I was like okay it's gonna be nice so i arrived and i was like hmm this is uh, uh, the vibes were a little off when i when i arrived you know and i was like hmm so so i went and then uh Diego, uh, they okay. have motorcycles yeah. in, in uh, uh just for some context yeah. Diego is a starter yeah. so i don't know if this is a starter like it's they have like bikes all of the, the okay bikes. so and, uh, basically you have bikes all over the city. so yeah they're electric motorcycles that you can yeah. rent out and, then, and like, you can rent yes. them for like three or four euros to like do so you uh, like just go around and they can, you can drop them off at like different yeah you can drop them off everywhere up, like you have bike. red so it's basically, basically a resorts. bike sharing kind of exactly, like a Vespa type yeah. of like it's not very expensive it's, it's super cool mm-hmm. I like it I like the product I've used it all over Spain mm-hmm. and uh, like I was, we, we did like uh, 12 or 13 kilometers today Years, yeah, so. five years. Yeah, for five years. So, so it's pretty good. So I really like the product. I, I like the company. I like the <laughs> service. I like the support. I like it's everything. Like the <laughs> Not the subject. Yeah. So yeah, no, I arrived in Bordeaux and I was super excited. I was like, okay, you have Diego, so I can go and like ride around. Mm-hmm. 
and immediately like all the products there were pretty shitty so like mm. uh, like the first year that I found didn't have a phone mount the second one didn't have a phone mount either and know. the third one was like in some pretty shitty yeah. street and I was I like I mean it doesn't have to do anything with Bordeaux but it, like it but the thing is like it was sure. a super shitty street like I was like what, what, the, what the fuck <laughs> am I you know <laughs> so I picked it up it, it didn't work like it didn't have batteries so I would like mm. go and search for a fourth one which also didn't have a phone mount yeah. so I was like holding my phone just like riding I mean, around that's just Dude. a coincidence and, you know, I don't know like it's, it's just like kind of like builds up yeah you know? I mean it, it yeah. affected your first impression yeah it's like I, I walked around like the, the the vibes with the people there didn't feel okay. as welcoming okay. you know like, so, it, like, it, like the air didn't feel as mm. breathable it's like something that is very specific to me like people I mean, can yeah. go to Bordeaux and enjoy yeah. it and say it's the most beautiful yeah. city they've ever been in mm. but like that impression was the complete opposite when it came to Toulouse. Okay. Right? I okay. just get, got out in the train station so, and I was like oh this is beautiful around yeah, here so like, you I liked told it. you that Toulouse was fine mm. uh, have you ever experienced that with another city uh, you mean like in, in terms of like having a bad first impression? No, a good first impression. Oh, like yeah. What's the best first impression that you've had? San Diego. Oh, really? San Diego is insane. Okay. Like okay. when I arrived there, it's just like it felt like a fit. Like I was the right piece okay. of puzzle, just like <laughs> landing on the, on the puzzle. Okay. And I don't know, like I just... Would you would you say that Toulouse is the best uh, city that gave you a first impression in Europe? No, San Diego is the best. Number no, one. in Europe. In Europe, yeah. Uh, no. No, I wouldn't say that. Barcelona. Barcelona. Okay. Barcelona. We're a close second, let's say. I would say it's a close second. Okay, like okay. That like makes I went me like, wait, okay. Tarragona, uh, like I went to Andorra. Andorra, yeah, yeah Andorra. I went to Stitches, uh, Bordeaux now, Toulouse, mm -hmm. I don't remember, like I went to a few other cities I, in Spain. I wonder if yeah. you're going to love Paris. I mean, you basically either hate it or love it. I am actually excited about that, so mm. it's going to be interesting. Yeah. So, so thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be uh, that's okay. It was kind of all over the place. I mean, we, we were but... planning on doing something like in ten minutes, but it ended up being uh, more than ten. Minutes. It is close uh, to one a.m. Either way, either Here way, it's close to one a.m. Thank you for watching, and this is this has been use finish. My guy, thank you. Okay, don't leave me hanging like that. I didn't Camera. see you, man. Come on, <laughs> I didn't man. see you. <laughs> My Let's pleasure, go. man. All right, thank you.